And we thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5 on this Friday. I'm Jennifer Bullock. Hello to you. I'm Kerry Charles. Brad is off tonight. The prosecution in the Charles Castle case spent today talking to witnesses about tracking down Castle's whereabouts the day before a seven year old was kidnapped in Hardin County. Castle is facing charges, including rape and kidnapping in this case. NBC4's Karina Chung was in the courtroom all day. Karina's surveillance video played a big part in today's line of questioning. Jen, it did, and we heard from the detective Terry Snary, who is a digital forensic examiner with the Hardin County Sheriff's Office. Now, he testified about a series of surveillance videos where the family's garage is visible, along with a van which stopped there several times. Now, the first view of that surveillance video is from November 10th, the day before the girl is reported missing. We're shown video from that day, time stamped 527 p.m., and it shows a silver van with a missing hubcap that Snary said was consistent with Castle's van parked outside the family's home. We also saw it leaving. Video from later in the evening shows a van was recorded stopping at the garage around 10.43 p.m. that night and then driving away five minutes later. A van appears this time at 11.12 p.m. An amplified piece of video shows two silhouettes go into the van before it drives away at about 14 minutes later. The defense asked specific questions about the van and if it could 100% be linked to Castle. And again, are you able to determine the color of that vehicle? No. See the license plate? No. See the driver? No. Are you able to see if there's any passengers in that vehicle? <clears throat> no. Able to see if there's a hubcap missing on that vehicle? No. Tonight at 6, the state brings forward a witness trained on mapping and analyzing cell phone records. I'll share what was tracked the night the girl was, was kidnapped. Local for you in Kenton, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4. Uh